Hello everyone, this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are doing a unboxing video of this little huge box here, Descent Legends of the Dark. This is the new game in the Descent line. We have played a bit of Descent 2.0 before and now we got this. So just so you know, Asmodee sent us a copy of the game. So that is out of the way uh, we are going to do an unboxing video. We're going to do a review. I'm really excited to play this because I do like these kind of cooperative storytelling games. So hopefully it is good. I'm going to open it up here so today we're not going to talk anything about the game because i don't know how the game is going to be other than it's another app based game sorry about all this dragging off plastic boom also it seems like this is going to be like a more of these games because this is has act one here in the corner which means it's going to be probably more acts because i don't know anything that's just one act so let's open this thing up it's so big okay like it's so big I can't almost I can almost not see into it. So uh, we have like this box So it's a huge box like this is might be like the, the tallest box I have ever owned So we have a learn to play guide here Which is hopefully good because I like rule books and fantasy Flights used to have some decent rule books It seems like this is just like not into more um more rule books because Fantasy Flight usually has these kind of um, learn to play and then the rule reference. Then we have a lore guide, which is cool. Looks like it's some background information about the things in the in the lore. In the lore, in the lore, and we have a map, which is uh, which is nice. Um, then we have. I'm gonna actually do this because then it's gonna be easier to to see what we actually have here. We have. Realms of Terranoth. What is this? Is this some new... Oh, this is probably an RPG. Don't want to play that. Uh, so we have all the assembly for the different uh, things. There's a dragon. There are some doors. I like these 3D things. I'm, I'm looking forward to see how how it feels playing with them. Like it's going to feel more like an actual mini game than, than anything we used to play. And we have here a tray of miniatures. So you're gonna open that up. I do like the look of this and there's more miniatures and there's even more miniatures. So there are a lot of miniatures in this game, which shouldn't be like a surprise for anyone because there are miniatures in the game. That That's not anything. Okay, so this is the one we're gonna look at first. So let's see if we can get this out here. I guess these are the heroes because they are, oh, they're very light, like very lightweight miniatures woo throwing it up in the air i do like the the look of it i do like how the oh, it looks really good like uh, the plastic is really really light like these might be the lightest miniatures i have um, held in my hand and for for a game like this but i do think they look really well detailed i'm not going to look at every single one of them because that's going to take a long long time but we can we can do this let's see if we can get a look of the miniatures here on the camera which i never can i never understand which way i'm supposed to re revolve things when i'm holding it up to the camera it does look really nice and there i don't know how many different uh, enemy sc uh, sculpts there are i do like these like very well detailed very a lot of nice information not information but details on the minis of course as i said they are very light but hopefully they won't break like that is i don't mind it being light if they don't break and if I can put it back in that's even better oh look at this guy it's like a man made of stone with a stone shield he's pretty cool there's some pretty cool dudes here pretty cool dudes this is like a heavy metal dude with a, oh this sword is kind of no like really thin some of these arms are really thin so it feels like you could break it but if you just pull it not in the arm and not break it I think it's gonna be fine okay and then we have some bigger miniatures here. Uh, this is actually three parts of one miniature, it looks like. So you have the base here. So this this huge tray is only for one miniature. I do not like that. Uh, it's probably just also to do, do, do. Okay, so this is one miniature. Putting it together, let's see if I can do it. But that means also I have to take it apart if I want to put it into the, into the box. Okay, so let's see if this can snap in here for example and then we have this dude it's a pretty big dude 
I think it's the biggest dude of them all. Like, there's a um, lot of dudes here, but this is the biggest one of the dudes. And um, let's see if it's easier to take apart because I need to put it back into here after I play. Like, oh, I don't want to play with you anymore. I'm taking your wings off. So no, you can't fly. Do -do 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 no. Oh, I don't know. So. As I always say when I do this unboxing videos, which I don't do that often because there's not that much to say. I just I just enjoy this. I, I like it being one way to like, okay, okay so there's one, two, three, four. It seems to be like an okay variety of miniatures. So those are the miniatures out of the way. And then we probably have the, this is gonna be like, how am I gonna get this out? Oh, it's actually, okay. So these are a huge pile of punch boards. And then we have the, Fantasy Flight. Look at this. It's the Fantasy Flight insert, which we all love. I was surprised not everything just came in at one of these. And there's some dice. I would be surprised if there were no dice. And then we have, these are really nice. Like I, I really enjoy, these are big player boards. So you get easily get all the information that you need. If you can even get it out like and i do really enjoy the artwork here it's really different from from the from the, the lost descent uh, and there is some i think these are some terrain things terrain things you know what you get when you go to board gaming ramblings look at an unboxing video it's gonna be things but no i'm really 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 interested to see what's under here because i really hope it's not just air because if it is then we have oh i can actually take this oh this is smart. I actually didn't think this was going to be smart, but this is actually smart. Because I I didn't see now what was under there, which is nothing. But that's fine. Because in this nothing, I can probably store all the 3D stuff. So this isn't actually one box. It's actually two boxes. This one is kind of ripped, destroyed, but that in two corners. So this is actually two boxes. That's pretty smart, like, but, but this box doesn't have a, a lid. So you have to use this as the lid for the first box and then the other one on top of it. I was hoping this was gonna be a bit lower, but I actually I actually like this now. So now you have like just this huge, huge crate here, which you can take out, but in here you can probably hold all of the, all of the 3D pieces. So that is actually pretty cool. So that is the reason this is big, because I would rather have this box like a double sized box than not having the place for all of the different 3d things so 3d things 3d terrain so let's see if we can open it up i'm not gonna punch it all of course but we're gonna do uh open it up and see how it feels if i can open it up without breaking anything let's see here it's a huge dragon i wonder if the dragon gets a bit sad that the dragon is like a, a scope not a, a miniature because i do enjoy like big miniatures big things okay let's see here we have the instruction manual now we're gonna see for example we have this we have this which is a cauldron i'm gonna make the cauldron now this is gonna be extremely interesting i'm gonna put this piece over here boop and then i'm gonna put the cauldron piece with the cauldron showing and I couldn't even do it. I was putting it the wrong way around. I'm gonna put it down here. And boom, we have a cauldron. Do you have a cauldron? I don't know because I don't know if you either have this game or if you just have a cauldron in your home. But I do not have a cauldron. Oh no, I do. I actually have a cauldron. There are trees here. There's a lot of stuff and there's some dials. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, they're in here. I was like, oh, I hope there are some uh, fixers for the dials. So I guess I'm gonna sit down and put all this together now. It's gonna be interesting. I'm really excited to play this game. Like I, I heard it's a bit more narrative driven. Like we played Descent just before we got Gloomhaven and we really enjoyed playing Descent uh, with the app. So we played the co-op and then Gloomhaven came and it was a lot better. So uh, I'm excited to play this. I do enjoy these kind of games. So uh, we will see. I don't think there's that much left to actually talk about here. This was just like a short little unboxing video again. As I say every time I do these unboxing videos, it's just like, I'm gonna sit down and unbox the game. So why not do it for people to see and you get to, to watch me do stuff because that's, that's fun, I guess. 
So I'm gonna see that is gonna be the end of this unboxing video. And uh, we're gonna do more videos coming soon. We're back from vacation. All the videos you've seen it will be like pre-recorded. So now we, everything is pre-recorded because we do not do live videos that often. But from next week, gonna be keep a call, more stuff coming uh, again. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you gonna play the game? Have you played the game? Let me know in the comments. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. It's free and it makes me happy and smiling like this. Hey! If you wanna do something that's not free, you can go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and help us out there. Of course, you don't have to do that, but it helps out a lot if you have the possibility. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes, and you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings, and bye-bye.